Friday. Round six of the European Team Championship is about to begin. It's a nice and sunny day. You can see there one of the main guys of the day just arriving, Levan Aronian. He's playing against Shakhyar Mamedyarov today. That's the clash between the world number two and three on the life rankings. Also Team Faroe Island. Uh, just arriving, they're playing against <laughs> Moldova, actually arriving with their opponents here. But yeah, as you can see, it's a nice and sunny day. I'm going to try and get back to the beach tomorrow. For now, um, you can see the players just arriving. Actually, let me show you someone else. Team Russia there, very focused. Um, we have a surprise leader in the open, uh, it's Croatia. So Croatia leading on their own uh, five rounds in. Yesterday was the rest day, today the action resumes. I think the round gets underway in just three minutes, so I better get inside. Friday night, I just finished work. As you can see, the guys are playing football there behind me. I'm going to head down in a second and get some closer footage as well. I uh, have crossed a sign that said no entry to get here. And I now understand why. I don't think you can see it, but there's a heliport, land, helicopter landing space, something. I'm not sure what you call that. That's the venue there behind me. There's still a game going on. The game between uh, Mamedov and Melkumian. Um, it seems like apparently it's a fortress now, but anyway, time to go and check in with the guys, find out who the best football player on the pitch is. There he is, Gummy. Give us a smile, Gummy. Gummy. Give us a wave. <laughs> Give us a kiss. <laughs> I want to have Gummy's baby. Saturday and round seven is underway just one floor higher but the European Team Championship is not the only event that's going on here at the convention center down there there's a, an open tournament um, small open tournament and then a few days ago the second ECU Congress began that's underway now I think today might be the last day tomorrow either way uh, let's go and check in with what's going on downstairs So, round seven is over. Uh, it ended in wins for Team Russia and also for Team Azerbaijan on uh, top board against Hungary. I'm currently making my way to the Irish pub to watch Liverpool play against West Ham in the Premier League. And it's really, I mean, when I started filming, it was well lighted, but it's extremely 
creepy <laughs> because this place is a it's a holiday town you can even see me but basically once happened what happens is when the season is over which is now like in November it just turns into a ghost town long story short just on my way to watch the football uh, where I'm going to meet up with Ingvar in his West Ham shirt and Liverpool is going to crush West Ham. Just to point out the score, I'm not sure you can see it. it says 1 4. Ah, it's a typo, it's 1 1. Does it make a difference? Actually, I think the game just continues in the same way. <laughs> we just ordered pizza. And Ingvar ordered garlic bread. So um, I was saying to to Ingvar, I would quite fancy some garlic bread myself. So what did we get? Meeting from the London Chess. The biggest garlic bread I've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> so basically, we're now having pizza, watching Barcelona Liverpool. No, Sevilla. Liverpool beat. Can you show us your shirt? Really? <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> A comment on the match? No. <laughs> it's Sunday, the penultimate round is uh, starting in just a couple of hours and I'm about to play mini golf. I got absolutely crushed yesterday but I'll get my revenge now. Today is a big clash uh, between Russia and Azerbaijan. Probably a title decider so I'm gonna crush it now at the mini golf and then get ready for work. I'm gonna make it in two. Sunday night, I've just finished my working day and the guys have convinced me to go play tennis. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're on our way now. I think Volvo is just getting... Uh, Serena Williams here. Just getting records. These guys are the worst. Okay, we're off. Let's find out who the best tennis player is. Run! Game over. Good morning. 
find it around here in Crete. So I just got back from mini golf. Had a quick shower, just heading to lunch now. Uh, the final round starts in just under an hour. Uh, Azerbaijan beat Russia today, so they're now in the slow lead, but playing third seed Ukraine later. So a big final match to conclude the tournament with. Let's Hello. these girls make a vlog appearance. <laughs> Steph Gula here scored an I am norm, so congratulations to her. Thank oh you. God. <laughs> and best of luck to the Greek team. Thank you. Today. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. So yeah, it's been a great tournament, great hospitality. Um, I'll show you on the final day what lunch looks like. And oh, let me see. Someone else I'm going to introduce you. What's this? It's the vlog. <laughs> this is David Yada. I think you all know him. He just published his book, The Amazing The Thinkers. If you don't have it, well, you probably don't have it yet because it's just come out a week ago. Uh, you can get it. It's been published by Quality Chess. A bit loud in here. But just head to the official Quality Chess website and David, really amazing work. Thank you. And we have two great photographers here, Maria. It's here as well. Maria is doing some Maria stuff. Yes, <laughs> Maria is eating. <laughs> Maria is doing something. Something. Okay, and I'm gonna eat something as well, and I'll see these guys okay. later. Bon appétit. Merci beaucoup. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> So it's all over. I'm in our studio which has been deserted by Jan. This is where we were sitting. This is where our producer was. But we've just swept up. My stuff is still there. I'm still going to film a final recap video. But we have new champions. They are Azerbaijan after some more tie break drama. Everyone here still hard at work preparing tonight's closing ceremony. I believe there's just a couple more games going on in the playing hall. Uh, but yeah, Azerbaijan, the new champions in the Open, Russia in the women's section, clinched the title with a round to go. Closing ceremony starts in an hour and a half. And after that, some well-deserved celebrations. Let's see what is still going on outside. That match has just ended. Not sure what that match is. People already hard at work packing everything up. could be that the last game of the tournament has just ended. I'm not totally sure. For now, that's it from me. I'm gonna get ready for the closing. Yeah.